Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I hope everyone has had a great new year. I know I can't complain too much about mine. Things are pretty much the same, but better for some reason. <laughs> I can't even explain it, but I'm claiming happiness this year. Like, so even if I'm having a bad day, I'm having a good day. I'm thankful to be alive. I'm thankful to have my health. I, we all have a lot of things to be thankful for. We're not where we want to be, but we have a reason to be thankful. I'm not trying to preach and I'm not trying to hold you. On today's video, we are doing this look right here. It is cute. It is glowy. And y'all, I don't even have highlighter on. Okay? So if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look, stay tuned. It is coming in three, two. So for brows, I purchased this um, Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in 315 Deep Brown. It has a spoolie on the end. And on this side, this is the tip. The way the tip looks. Oh, and I did not mention, but we are definitely drinking wine for this tutorial. It's been a day. I like this product. It's easy to work with. To clean up the brows, we're going to use our L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I'm using the shade 415 Honey on the top and the bottom. I'm going for a radiant look, which is why I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, Luminous Putty Primer. Some people don't like this primer. They say it has like gold flecks in it, but um, it doesn't bother me much. So I use it. And you don't want to like go overboard with the primer. You don't want to use too little and you don't want to use too much. Just consider it like you're moisturizing your face. You're For foundation, I am using my most favorite drugstore foundation, 24-hour Pro Glow foundation. Some people compare this to NARS um, Creamy Radiant Foundation, Radiant Foundation, whatever the name is. Some people compare it to that, but of course, the more on a more affordable side. This, y'all. Y'all see, wait. And I just put this all over my skin. Hey. To blend this in, I am gonna use a face sponge. I'm using the Total Face Sponge by e.l.f. It comes with two. Um, you can also use the Real Techniques Beauty Blenders. Like, those are the two good ones that I use. And I'm using this side of the sponge. And I'm just basically you see, I'm bouncing that into my skin. Bouncing it on my skin, sorry. Hey. And the good thing about this foundation is that it is buildable. Hey. Hey. And we're going to go right into um, concealing. And believe it or not, I'm going to use that exact same concealer to um, conceal the high points of my face. Um, the purpose of this is to brighten under this area and to lift. tip for you just so you know let this sit two three minutes let it sit and get a little tacky dry out a little bit it gives you more coverage
to set this, I'm using the Fit Me um, Loose Finishing Powder. And I got the shade 25 Medium. <laughs> crazy bear with me stay with me okay now we're just going to do eyes i bought the elf mad for matte nude palette it's only it only has nude shades in it okay these shades aren't labeled so we're just going to take this one and grab a brush And that is going to go in the crease. Y'all, look at that pickup. Look at that pigment. Let's see. All right, Elf. And we're just going to pat it in the crease to begin with. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that color. You know what? I changed my mind. We're going to go all the way, all into the crease with this. This is... Look at this color. How can you not? How can you not appreciate a good low-priced palette? I think I spent like six bucks for this palette. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side, starting at the outer V. I'm gonna pat that on. And then pack it into the crease. This like lavenderish color. And we're gonna set that on the lid. But I do want to put on some liner. So what I'm using is the Maybelline Long Lasting Drama Gel. my face I am going to use the black radiance true complexion contour palette if y'all don't have this you need to get it this is what it looks like so it gives you a highlight color a sculpt color and a contour color but of course we're going to use the contour color we might dip into this as well we'll see but I'm going to take my contour brush. And for that, you should always have like an angled brush. Grab some of that. And apply it. Ruby Kisses. Um, face Mineral face powder. Yeah, like I use this. It's in the affordable range, but yeah. And I go all over my face with it. Even over where I highlight it, I always do this. So if ever I feel like I went too much on my highlight, this would like instantly tone it down. So I also bought the Fit Me um, blush, and the shade I'm using in that is the shade Berry Bay. I am going to 
set my face. And to set my face, I am going to use the NYX Radiant Finish Setting Spray. Do y'all see? Like, with the primer and that spray, look at that. And I haven't even put highlight on yet. I'm going to take that same brown shade that I did on in my crease and I'm just going to bring it right on my lower lash line. On the inner corner, I'm going to take go back into that black radiance palette and I'm going to take the highlight shade there and that's what I'm going to pop into my inner corner. A tip just so you know, Never put on your mascara on your lower lash line until after you spray your face because it is going to bleed and it is definitely, it'll like, you'll have to, it, it'll stick to your skin underneath and you'll end up having to just wipe makeup off and do it all over again. With that being said, I am now going in with mascara on my bottom lash line. lips i am doing the nyx cinnamon roll and i just got this burgundy like pencil you guys we're not even going to count this as a drugstore i don't know where i got it from but that's what we're going to use so all right babes that is pretty much it like you guys see the look you can see like the glow within without me even having highlight. Listen, I have no highlighter on. Y'all hear me? <laughs> like to me, this is a go. Like I know it's winter time and winter time is when you do a lot of matte looks and you know, you, you it's a little, it's subtle because you're not, it's not like summertime when you do a glow. But listen, I am a woman who likes to glow at all times. Therefore, today we're glowing. If you have any questions or concerns or comments about my video, please go ahead and list them below. Um, I hope you like my video. Please like it if you do. Comment if you have any. And you can subscribe. Like, chill with me. Become a part of the fam. We appreciate it over here. If you are already a subscriber, I 1000% appreciate you. And until next week, guys, stay safe. Bye.